The Earth has many interesting and wonderful places that you can visit. From the deep blue sprawling oceans to the vast and green fields and lush forests, you can get lost while wandering this amazing place. What would you do if you get lost? Will you ask for directions? That can be done indeed. However, if there comes a time that you have no one to ask, what will you rely on? A map would be must-have. It is a handy tool to aid you in going to different places you haven't been to. Now, the question is, how do you locate places on a map? In this video, you will learn about how to locate places on Earth using a coordinate system. At the end of this video, you should be able to demonstrate how places on Earth may be located using a coordinate system. Before the utilization of coordinates have been introduced, people in the old times used maps and globes to locate places on Earth. A map is a two-dimensional drawing that gives a symbolic representation of places that can be used on flat surfaces and are easily carried. The art or science of making maps is called cartography, and those experts of making maps are known as cartographers. On the other hand, a globe is a three-dimensional representation of the spherical shape of Earth. A unique feature of a globe is Earth's tilt with respect to its north and south poles. It also represents Earth's position relative to the Sun. Through time, both models have undergone modification to represent Earth better. A common feature of maps and globes is the presence of intersecting horizontal and vertical lines to form a Cartesian plane. These imaginary lines form a grid collectively known as the Geographic Coordinate System. The Geographic Coordinate System does not exist but it was drawn as a numerical reference that determines the location of different places on Earth. Locating places on a map or globe uses these lines which are represented as degrees since it is assumed that the world is spherical. Most maps usually draw these lines apart at a 15 degree interval. There are two imaginary lines on Earth that are used to identify the ordinates of a place using a map, the latitude and longitude. It is very necessary to be familiar with the directions to correctly get the coordinates of a place. Those lines which run horizontally from east to west are called latitudes. Latitudes are parallel to each other, hence latitudes do not meet or intersect. The latitude which cuts the earth in half dividing the northern and southern hemisphere is called the equator. As a reference point, the equator is read as zero degree latitude. The degree increases as it approaches the two poles which are read as 90 degrees north latitude or 90 degrees south latitude. Here are some other notable latitudes on the globe. The Arctic Circle is the latitude 66 degrees north. All locations falling north of this latitude are said to be in the Arctic Circle. The latitude 23 degree north is also known as the Trophic of Cancer. It marks the northernmost position on the Earth where the Sun is directly overhead at least once a year. This happens during the June solstice when the Earth's northern hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. The Antarctic Circle, on the other hand, is the latitude 66 degrees south. Any locations falling south of this latitude are said to be in the Antarctic Circle. The Tropic of Capricorn is the latitude that lies at 23 degrees south of the equator. It is the southernmost position on the globe where the sun is directly overhead during the December solstice. Lines that run from north to south are called longitudes. The longitude which passes through Greenwich, England is called the Primary Region. The Primary Region divides the western and southern hemisphere of the world. As a reference point, the Primary Region 
is read as 0 degree longitude. The degree increases as it moves westward or eastward until it reaches the longitude opposite to the prime region, the antimeridian. Now, let's learn how to locate places on Earth using the coordinate system by following the simple steps. First step, provide the latitude which intersects the location. Determine the number of degrees from the equator. After writing the value, indicate its direction as north or south from the equator. Find the coordinates of Manila, Philippines. This is Manila, Philippines, located near the equator. It is located below the 15 degrees. Assuming that the interval is 1, so the degrees of Manila, Philippines is at 14 degrees latitude. The direction of latitude is north since it is above the equator. Step 2. Provide the latitude which intersects the location. Instead of the equator, use the primary region as the reference point and determine the distance from it. After getting the value, write if the place is found east or west from the primary region. Manila, Philippines is located at 121 degrees in longitude. The direction in longitude is east since it is located to the right side of the primary region. Last step, merge the two values along with their directions. Write the latitude first, then the longitude. Separate the latitude and longitude values by using a comma. The coordinates represent the intersection specific to a location. Manila has a coordinates of 14 degrees north and 21 degrees east. Different technologies in a form of application have emerged to easily guide us on the place that we wanted to be in. Despite this, we must learn to cope up by not unlearning the traditional. That ends our lesson. I hope this simple video has helped you to learn how to locate places using the coordinate system through the use of a map. Thank you for watching and have a day full of blast.